The last battle is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Welcome to Gamegasm, I'm Bren. I'm Dan. And what are we looking at today, Dan? Today, we're looking at Carmageddon Max Damage. Ah! Why isn't it? It's normally started by now. Uh, I think it's loading. Oh wow, it's 20 years ago! Uh, that's not a good start. Seriously, playing this game makes me feel like it's 20 years ago. I in a good way, or a, or a bad way? Well, as much as I'd love to be 20 years younger, when it comes to Carmageddon Max Damage, it feels like there's been very little progression on an idea that wasn't exactly hugely stimulating in the first place. So, it's a kind of racing game where you get points for running people over then? He's got it! Thanks! To go into a little more detail, Carmageddon Max Damage puts you in the driving seat of some souped up motors playing as drivers with names like Max Damage, Diana and Ivan the Bastard. Ha! <laughs> Bastard. You have to drive around a bit, fulfilling objectives such as straightforward lap by lap races, checkpoint grabs and targeted pedestrian killing because we can't have enough of that in our lives. All while several rivals try to beat you to it. You can win races by either crossing the line first, destroying all your opponents, or killing a large number of pedestrians as you tear around various locations of standard video game variety that I've seen a billion times before. Cities, docks, the desert yawn. So it's uh, very straightforward then. Yeah, but it's all wrapped up with the kind of poor childish humour that just makes me cringe these days. Maybe I'm getting old, maybe I've seen it too many times, and maybe I just yearn for a better quality of writing after all these years. But with a car colour called Baby Shit Bronze, an icon on the hood that says cunning stunts whenever you do something marginally clever, and my personal favourite, a level called Beef Curtains, I'm left wishing I was playing anything else. It's not like racing games are a rare breed, is it? Maybe, Dan. Just maybe. You need to take all this with a pinch of salt. Yeah, a pinch of salt, or as this game would probably call it, a boob of minge. I just think in a market this competitive and crowded that an old brand has been cynically resurrected with mediocre humour, very average gameplay and nothing that hasn't been done before. Alright, so the graphics are okay, but only okay, and my distorted memories of the original already look like this in my mind's eye. And the soundtrack is just absolutely flat 90s gaming cliché. People worked long and hard to move game music on from this era. Seriously. This is so old fashioned that it's dripping with more pure 90s than a Spice Girl holding a Tamagotchi at a Pog tournament! Uh, wow, was there anything you liked? Look, there is some fun to be had in the fact you can steal progression from your rivals. So rather than doing three laps of a course, you could just destroy three rivals that have a lap each. You get points for stunts that build up and you can spend them keeping your car in repair so you can keep going as your opponents slowly all fail. And there are power-ups littered everywhere. So you can have a bit of fun with those, but so what? I've done it all before. So who was this aimed at? It sounds like fans of the originals will be disappointed it's not made more of a leap forward, and new players won't care enough about its pedigree to even try it? Exactly. The car upgrading is standard and didn't even make me feel any more powerful or faster, if I'm honest. The career mode seems frightfully short, which means they just want to herd people into endless repetitive online multiplayer matches, and, frankly, there's better out there than this. And... Sin of sins for a game stored on my hard drive, it's a slow loader. The load times are atrocious. Uncharted 4 doesn't have a single load screen once you're into the world at the start of the game, and you're telling me that this couldn't throw any of its drab, small, uninspiring locations onto screen any faster than it does. Patch, please. Or you know what, just don't bother. For a bit of casual pick up and play mindless senseless violence, would you recommend it? Yes, but only for that, and only if you're willing to watch gaming get set back two decades right in front of your eyes. If you're spending actual real money on this, I have to tell you, you can do better. In the interests of balance, I must point out that it has a really good replay mode, with great camera control options and car views, no doubt to satisfy the YouTube generation. I just wish it was tacked onto a better game. I don't think you enjoyed playing this, did you? Look, I had some great fun playing Carmageddon way back when, but this is honestly not a nostalgia hit that I wanted or needed. 
If it had innovated in any small way, I'd be just a little kinder. But as it stands, it's an average looking racer with average ideas that were average in the 90s and are average now. With an average tacked on multiplayer relying on average humour to appeal to a gaming market that mostly died out when the year 2000 happened and games started doing things properly. Which is why I've given it a Gamegasm 5. It's an absolute perfection in mediocrity. I'm actually surprised it's not from Ubisoft. Wow, you must be unimpressed. You didn't even end with a pun. No, I didn't. Now, come again out of here. Ah, I knew you wouldn't disappoint. And that was Carmageddon. Max mm. damage. Yeah, and it was very damaged, wasn't it? It was a bit, yeah. Look, there's nothing technically wrong with it on a mm. programming level. Mm. Programming. I know you um, didn't mention frame rate. No, the, the freight is probably okay. <laughs> but um, I didn't notice anything wrong with the frame rate. No. Just, just played it played it nearly 20 years ago. Yeah, it was just, you're looking for something with a bit more substance yeah. these days, aren't I mean, we? you can paint a crappy shed white, but it's still a crappy shed. Mm. Well... Now I know I know some people are going to say, but Dan, it's supposed to be Carmageddon. That's what Carmageddon is. I know. What would you say to that though? Oh, I probably don't like Carmageddon games. <laughs> well, you said you like you like the the playing them I back in the it. day. I used to play on my friend's PC. We we put weekends into that game, and then playing it now was like, is this all it was? Or was I just <laughs> in a different place, or has something gone wrong, or yeah. you know they could have just. You know, I, don't, I know they can't fundamentally change the gameplay because it's Carmageddon, but it just yeah. felt like they could have, you know, could have yeah. put some bells and whistles on it. You know, I mean, I suppose when you think about obviously recently released Doom, yeah, uh, that was that, that literally original Doom, but moved everything forward. Hadn't yeah, it? so yeah, uh, it could have done with being a little bit more forward-looking rather than a like I said, it's it's like a nostalgia hit, but. Without the... They're ten a penny at the moment. Yeah. Most, of, new, don't most of my PS4 games are PS3 games. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true though, isn't it? It's a shame that like yeah. we're getting a lot of uh, re-release stuff and a lot of the stuff that we have been promised for this generation just keeps getting pushed back, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I just... I, I keep falling for it as well. I keep I buying know. them again. I keep yeah. buying... Uncharted again, and I'm going to buy Bioshock again, and it's because there's a void. Why is there there's a, a void? I don't, there's a void because they they just it seems like they just haven't got this generation kickstarted yet, have they? They should just hold E3 earlier, like <laughs> yeah, like three they years should just earlier. Be, just be honest and say <laughs> right, e, E3 2016 is for 2018. It's just yeah, cut cut that year out, you know. Yeah, yeah. Be honest. I'm so yeah. sick of games slipping. They, yeah, they do all the time, don't they? Just yeah. delay, delay, delay. Anyway, I didn't want to get into a rant about no, the no. industry, but no. uh, yeah. So Carmageddon, max damage, not the best. Yeah. Um, like you said, I guess good for a quick bash. Good but... for a quick bash. You might get into it and love it. It is. Mm. Look, it's not. I'm not saying it's awful. I'm not saying it's brilliant. It is just straight down the middle average. And yeah. You might love it. I, there are games that you hated that I've loved that are average. You know, you know, you know yep. what you like. Yeah, and I, I fully admit that my nostalgic preconceptions may have dragged down my uh, actual gameplay experience on this because I, mean, I used to love it. I think, uh, <laughs> uh, dragged down was an understatement. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> that's all the time we've got for in this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we'd love to, uh, you know, show you more stuff. Come join the party. Come join the party. <laughs> anyway, I've been Bren. I've been Dan. And we've been Game Gasm. Game Gasm.